Welcome back, guys. We're going to get into the player ratings for Minnesota United 3, Houston Dynamo 2 in the round of 16 of the U.S. Open Cup. Alrighty. So, the boys travel down to Houston um, for a hot game down in Texas. But uh, Vito started in net. Um, and he played really well. He had some saves to make. Um, first goal um, isn't really for him to play. Is his fault? Uh, we get beat off a corner, and they win the header. And it's tough that Vito can't make the save, but unfortunately, uh, it goes in. And the second goal can't be his fault either because of he's on a one on one on one with. A player and you're going to take the player every time so if he saves it it's miraculous if not he's really not to blame but so today he made some good saves um, and unfortunately we do let in two goals so I'd have to just give him a solid uh, 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 um, off a win a comeback win in the second half he made some really good saves and he came off his line to really slow down the pressure um, Michael Parra um, at center back played Quite well. I'd have to give him a eight out of ten as well. Um, Fox solo. I'd have to give a seven out of ten. I saw him get done a couple times. Um, didn't lead to any goals, um, but he just didn't seem to be too composed compared to Ike in the back. Um, but nonetheless, played an all right game. Um, wasn't to blame for the second goal. Um, don't know if that was his man on the corner or not. Um, have to go back and watch it again to see. Um, Chase Gasper played pretty well tonight. Um, was involved uh, with the play a lot, but they seem to be picking him up, picking up on, uh, picking on him on that side, and he was getting beat a couple times. But played very good for a second uh, start, uh, MLS start for sure, and a solid seven and a half out of ten. Sonny Dotson, the Robin, the man that can play anywhere. He actually started out in front of Chase tonight, but um, moved out um, moved out uh, to Eric Miller's spot um, when Eric Miller was subbed off at halftime. Um, and Hassani played very well, and I'd say he played an 8 out of 10. He was very involved in the play defensively, offensively. Um, he played very well, um, in my opinion. Eric Miller is going to get a, a 5 out of 10. Uh, really poor performance tonight from Eric. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't get into the game in the first half and had to be subbed out. Um, and it showed that he was not doing his job in the first half, unfortunately. Um, but uh, it happens. Some of us times you have a rough night, um, but he'll get a 5 out of 10 in the end. All righty. Jan Gregus was to blame for the second goal by far. Um, played well in the midfield besides that, but I'd have to give him a 6 out of 10. Um, definitely definitely a really, really bad giveaway in the midfield and can't be doing that. Um, Lawrence Olin played very well tonight. Um, I think an 8 out of 10 is necessary for him. He had some very good uh, penetrating balls. He broke up the play quite nicely and played very well. Um, in my opinion. Darwin Quintero, a 10 out of 10 tonight, played absolutely incredible. Sometimes some of the fancy flicks and stuff didn't come off, but he scores an absolute screamer. He scores the first goal from a nice pass from Angelo, and he really, that second half, was dominating the play. Um, all the dangerous, everything, he was really dictating a lot of it. Angelo played very well tonight. I should have got another goal or two sometimes. Just wish he could get a finish or two off, but really, really well for good for performance. Build up play. Uh, great pass to Darwin for the first goal. Um, that second half made uh, Angelo play a lot better um, than the first half, I think. Um, but man, he there's a couple goals. You really got to get some more goals in um, Angelo. But it looks like the Colombian connection and the forwards are getting Getting on the move now, and it looks like every game we're getting a lot more chances and finishing them off now. Um, but Angelo gets a 
eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. Ethan Finley played very well tonight. Um, really break like breaks down the uh, uh, defense to give Mason Toy that last goal to get the win, and I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten. He looked really dangerous on that right side most of the night. Um, and then for the subs, Miguel Ibarra comes in for um, Eric Miller, and he went to Hassani Dotson's spot at halftime when they when Hassani went to back on the back line. And Miguel changed the game completely, and I am going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well. Um, actually, a 9.5. He's, he's got to score that goal. He's got to score that goal, and he knows that. He knows he's got to score that goal, but he comes on and changes the game completely. Changes the game completely. And a great performance from Miguel. Um, and Mason Toy, even though he's on for the last 15 minutes, comes on and packs the game and gets that game-winning goal. I'm definitely just gonna have to give him a solid eight out of eight out of ten. He wasn't on wasn't on long enough to get a nine or a ten, but played extremely good for that little bit of time he was on there. Um, and we move on to the next round of the U.S. Open Cup, and we'll either play FC Dallas or um, New Mexico United, a lower league side. And I hope we draw uh, draw. Um, the USL side, New Mexico United, because I feel like we could easily get past them, but I don't want to overlook them. Um, but an overall great, great performance um, by the boys. Um, wish I could have watched it live or on the TV, but uh, the phone will do it. The Allianz Field in the Brew Hall, too, was nice to see. Um, and as always, come on, you loons.